allow yourself to come to a comfortable seat and let your attention go out with this for a minute. Notice the stuff around you, whatever it is. What do you hear? What do you feel? How do you feel? Where do you feel? Take a breath into the nose. And then let the breath go back out through the nose. Can you breathe a bit deeper? Take another breath in. And let it go out. No matter what we do today, no matter what malarkey and shenanigans we find ourselves in, we can always come back and take another breath. Everything we do today is optional. I prefer that you keep breathing. Um, but it's going to let you choose your own adventure regardless. Remember that you can always take a moment to come back to center. And if it feels impossible, remember that it isn't. Even if we haven't like to do it. Let's begin. We'll come to the top of our mat and bring our feet together for mountain pose or some to be. It's nice to take a moment to listen for yourself. You found it. You ever watch the TV show Lost? It's this episode oh, with a totem that helped them connect back to reality. Very conceptually, very cool. Your breath is your totem, it is your lifeline. No matter what we're doing, you should always bring your awareness back to where the breath goes, where it doesn't go. We'll bring our hands to our heart and share our own. Inhale. <laughs> Finish your exhale and we'll begin our sun salutations. Inhale, upward facing hands. Let your palms come together and look up. Exhale, full fold. Bend your knees and let your hands smash into the floor and let your head be heavy. Inhale, arch your back a little bit. Maybe try to balance a teacup on your head. Push into your hands and step or jump back, lowering down at your own pace. Inhale and come into a back bend, flipping over the feet maybe, squeezing the butt and arching your back like you're coming out of a wave. From here, exhale and see if you can roll back into a downward facing dog as you reach the arms overhead. As you reach the arms overhead, can you make the heels heavy? Maybe thinking about the space between the shin and the top of the foot and seeing if you can squeeze an imaginary triangle there. Finish your exhale. Look forward, push into your hands, press the hands to the floor. Inhale, step or jump up. See if you can balance that teacup again. You might have to come to your fingertips and bend your knees. Exhale, let the head come down. Make the inner thighs long. Inhale, keep them strong as you come up. Reach the hands, look at your thumbs. And exhale, the hands to the sides. Inhale, upward facing hands. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, half fold, arch your back, press. Exhale, find your way to push up. Inhale, bend your back. Can you squeeze your shoulders together like you've got a yellow pencil between them? And then exhale, push into the hands and flip the arms over your head. Really reach here if you can. Now we're gonna do a little side bending. We're just gonna take the heels over to the right and press the shoulders to the left. So we feel that waist pulling up and back, stretching, press through your left foot even here. Come back to center and we'll try the right hand side or the left hand side rather, bringing the heels over to the left, 
pushing your shoulders a bit to the right, pulling the belly in, pressing even through your right foot. We'll bring it back to center. We'll have one breath here. And then as you exhale, maybe think about getting ready to come up and then inhale, press the hands and step or jump. See if you can get that teacup. Exhale and fold, bow the head. Inhale, reach the arms how you like. Can you press these hands together? Exhale, hands to the sides. All right, we're gonna do some twisting now. Inhale, upward facing hands. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, head up. Find your chaturanga. Now come into a back bend with me. Any back bend you like right here. And let's just look over one shoulder. Maybe try to get your rib cage to move so it's not just the neck. And then try to get your twist on the other side, getting your rib cage to move so it's not just the neck. We'll come back to center and find our down dog. And then here, go ahead and take that right hand to your left calf or heel or something and try to pull a little bit and get your rib cage to move here, looking under your arm maybe. And then we'll release that when we're, you're ready. And we'll do the other hand. And we'll just twist the rib cage here. Stay strong through that right arm. Wonderful, bring that left hand down. And now here we're gonna stay just still for a moment and see if we can imagine narrowing the arms closer to each other, magnetizing the inner arms. Hold that as you look forward, bend the knees. Keep the strong magnetization and step or jump up. Exhale and fold. You can drop that teacup. <laughs> Inhale, reach the arms way up over your head. And exhale. It's almost you can hit. Inhale, upward facing hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, step or jump back, lower down. Inhale, up dog. Squeeze your shoulders together, retract them, get the pencil. Exhale, wide shoulders. Now we're gonna come into quadruped or tabletop. The choice is yours. In quadruped, the knees are not on the ground. The belly is firm. And we're really focusing on the plank element of it here. Um, try to get the weight forward so that your shoulders are over your hands, not behind them. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Imagine that you're creating a box between your knees and your arms and your tummy. And the thighs are strong, right? And now right knee, right elbow touch. One, two, three. Left knee, left elbow. One, two, three. Now right knee, right armpit. One. Two, three, are the knees where you left them? Left knee, left armpit, one, two, it's the last one, three. Last set of these, right knee, left armpit, one, two, the rib cage can move, three, left knee, right armpit, one, two, three, put it back, down dog. Feeling nicely prepared, right? To step or jump forward. Inhale, step or jump forward. Exhale and fold, relax the head down. Elbows in. Inhale, reach up. Feel the arms squeeze together. Even standing. Serial so double star B. Inhale, bend your knees, hands up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg forward, warrior one. The right knee can go behind the right arm and then behind the right hand. Left heel can come down, arms come up. You know the way to chaturanga. Please feel free to move at your own pace. Inhale to your up dog, or cobra. And down dog, please. Now left side.
and then we know the one. Take joy out of plus shot, and up dog, and the down dog. Down to down, down dog, and we'll breathe here. Can you imagine that your inner ankles have a yellow piece of tape on them? And your inner thighs, right where the meat meets the pelvis, has, oh, maybe a, a green piece of tape. So you've got yellow tape on your heels on the inside. You've got another color on the inner thigh, and you want to stretch the heels away from each other, yellow away from green. Can you feel that inseam getting longer? Can you make the tape a little bit further away? And then from here, step or jump forward, keeping those legs long. Pause, are the insides of the arms looking at each other? Good, magnetize, exhale, fold. Tape away from tape. Inhale, bend your knees, hands up. Now the tape gets closer. It's almost two feet deep, stretch it back out. Inhale, pull yourself down into this squat. Feel yourself pull down into it. Exhale, fold. Inhale, head up. Balance your teacup, send the weight forward, shoulders back. Exhale, jump or float. Find your bottom. Inhale, up dog. Squeeze your shoulders. Exhale, down dog. Reach. Right leg forward, warrior one. Press. Exhale, chaturanga. Push through the floor. Squeeze your shoulders. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left side. Press through your hands if you can. Exhale, chaturanga, coming down. Squeeze your shoulders at this bottom position. Up dog, still squeezing, and down dog. Last breath here. With your inhalation, step or jump forward. Exhale and fold. Long legs. Inhale. Pull yourself down into your squat. Samasiti. Last one. Yakum inhale, bend your knees, hands up. Exhale, soul. Inhale, head up. Exhale, pull yourself up and then push yourself back. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg forward. Good. Go ahead, exhale, pull yourself down into the push up. Inhale, push yourself into the up dog, but pull the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, push. Inhale, left side like you did. Exhale, come on down, use those arms. Push, pull, push, pull, push. Breathe, breathe. All right, friends, we're gonna stay right here. We're gonna step our right leg up for warrior one. We'll exhale our warrior two. Okay, take your right hand, put it on the inside of your right thigh, okay? You feel where it is? Try to push your thigh off of your hand, don't move your hand, but feel the way that the inner thigh can push away from the hand. Now look at your knee. Is it over your ankle? Cool. Keep pushing the thigh off of the hand. Keep the knee over the ankle. And then we're going to straighten this right leg. We'll come on out into our triangle right here. Kind of feel how that right thigh pushes out, rolls out, and grounds down through the right foot. Press through your right foot. Good. Look at your left thumb. Can you see your left thumb with your right eye?
Make your tailbone really long, fill up your lower back. Twisting triangle, left hand down, right hand up. Left hand can be inside or outside, on top of or around. Can you reach your right inner thigh away from your right inner heel while you press through the right heel? Can you stamp the floor? Wonderful, I'm gonna come up to one two. And now side angle, your choice. Right hand can be inside or outside. I'd like a bind today, so I'm coming inside and going for a bind. What would you like? I'm gonna play that same little game that I was playing before. I'm pushing the knee out, but now I'm gonna to try to pull myself deeper into my leg. So pulling the right hip back and the right armpit and knee get closer while you stretch. Okay. Let's come into lizard. Bring both hands down. Come on down to your left knee. And we'll bring this right arm up from here, feeling really good about our choices. Can you pull your belly in? Can you lift your left knee up? Can you come into a revolved lunge, bringing your shoulders over your hips? Just reach back to your left heel. Reach your right belly to the left. Pull the corkscrew up. Wonderful. And in the last position, would you like to try an arm balance here? You can bring your left knee down, bring the left arm over the leg, Put the right elbow on the outside of the right leg. Bring your hands to the ground and try to pick yourself up. You can straighten the legs here as you like. You can just work on shifting the weight, getting that right hip and that right knee, maybe the touch, right hip and a uh, right elbow, I mean. All right, that's enough of that. Inhale, unravel up to warrior two, and then exhale down to your chaturanga. Inhale, your up dog. Exhale, your down dog. Take a second, assess for yourself what's feeling wise. Here we go on the left hand side. Inhale, left leg forward, right heel down. Warrior one, we'll come right into that warrior two. Push your belly out. Let me say that differently. From this position, you wanna be thinking about how the left thigh stabilizes and how you open the, right, uh, the left hip up so that the pelvis starts to rotate to the side. And then you sit down a little deeper if you can, squeezing this little triangle at the shin ankle. And we'll take our triangle here, straightening the leg. Remembering to push that thigh and come on back. Find your favorite triangle pose. And of course, you can try to line up your left eye with your right hand. Can you fill up your lower back? Pull that left inner thigh back away from the left inner ankle. And we'll bring the right hand down, twisting triangle. Let the hip twist around. Pull that left butt back and up. Right hand down, left hand up. Try to put a little arch in that back, maybe. Pull the left hip away from the left inner groin and then let it spiral, roll in, pull the butt back. Imagine that you're being pulled in two directions from the left hip back and from the center of your heart forward. All right, come on up, warrior two, to your favorite side angle. I'm going for my bind today. Can you pull your left shoulder into that left inner thigh? Can you pull the tummy in, roll the chest up? When you're ready, release from here. We're gonna come into lizard. Coming down to our right knee. We can hang out right here. We can take that twist, bring the left arm up. 
Can you get your belly and your thigh closer together? Can you pull your left hip back more? And bend your left knee more at the same time. So left hip back and left knee bend. You can see that over the waist. Now maybe you lift your right knee. If you're feeling good here, maybe we come up to that revolved lunge. Can you still squeeze that little triangle in the ankle? You can lower your knee and try an arm balance if you'd like. Maybe try to steer your chest to the left while you steer your hips to the right. Have a little fun. Mm -hmm. All righty. When you're ready, yogis, we're gonna come up and out into our warrior two. Open it back up, let your hip rotate, and then bring it back down, chaturanga. Up dog and down dog. Feeling really good about our choices, we're gonna walk these hands to the feet. We're gonna widen the feet more than we normally do for our big toe pose. Inhale, hold on to your big toes. Push your thighs back, pull your chest forward, pull the tummy up. So navel up, thighs back, heart forward. Shine your heart forward. And then from here, see if you can try to pull your thighs towards your stomach. And that means that since the thighs aren't moving, your stomach, rib cage, heart get closer to your legs. Now, what do you want to do with these shoulders? Do you want to hug the elbows in maybe? Do you want to reach them out? What do you feel is good here? What can you notice that's the same or different? Inhale your head up. Pause, make sure the weight is forward. Standing in your legs, push through your feet, even if you're not holding them, right? And now take the hands under the foot if you can. If that's not available to you, no problem. You can always bring the backs of your hands to the ground in front of you forward, like not a problem to get that nice wrist stretch. However, if you do have this here, what do you want to do with these wrists? How do you want to work the shoulders, huh? You can draw some circles. Doesn't that feel good with the shoulders? Let's try one together. Let's shrug the shoulders up to our ears. And now from here, let's squeeze them together. And now let's pull them down. Now let's take them wide. And now let's squeeze them together. And let's shrug them up. Let's take them wide and then pull them down. Now, what do you want in your shoulder? What's gonna feel good to you? I'm still trying to flex my hip, which means that I get my rib cage closer to the thigh. Inhale the head up, we'll pause and we'll exhale here. We'll slide these hands out from under the legs. We'll walk it out into a down dog shape. We'll bring our feet more together. Standing splits, right leg goes straight up. Walk your hands back to your left foot. Keep reaching that right leg up into the air. Try to wrap that right inner thigh in, squeeze an imaginary golf ball between your thighs so that you tip over like a little drinking bird. Cute. Okay, walk it back out into dog. And we just wanna get that other side. So nothing too crazy. Just switching our sides here. Left leg is up when it's time. And we're gonna walk the hands in. Um, you may notice that your hips tried to warrior two a little bit on you, huh? Where like the hip gets a little cocked. They cocked it, kind of uncock it. Roll the inner thighs. <laughs> Keep reaching the leg. Wrap that hip in. I'll fall it. Okay, let's walk it back out into our dog. We'll bring the leg back. Hopefully we feel really good. We'll inhale, bend the knees and step or jump forward to the top of the mat. We'll exhale and fold. Inhale, bend your knees, hands up. It's almost easy. We're gonna to rotate to the middle of the mat and we're gonna do a little bit of split strength training. Uh, some uh, tails and rails for the inner thigh, outer thigh. So we'll start with the legs about, I don't know, one arm span wide, don't get crazy. 
Take a breath, put your hands on your waist if you want to feel yourself breathing. Come, oh, nice, huh? And then exhale and fold. You can bring these hands to the ground. Um, Yogi's choice here, as far as I'm concerned. If you wanna plant the hand and take a twist, that's dope. Um, if you wanna plant the hands and do a, an arm balance or split, That's dope. I'm happy with whatever setup you wanna do from right here for yourself. Lots of really good options. Now we're gonna head into our middle split. So once you've done malarkeying, bring your hands back down, please. And slide your legs somewhat out. Now, when you get to whatever your somewhat out position is, uh, I want you to come to like the side of your foot so that the sole of the foot is off the ground. You've got a nice neutral ankle. And now from here, you're gonna squeeze, you're gonna imagine that you're gonna wrinkle your mat in the middle, squeezing it together for five. Belly is so firm. Three, two, keep squeezing so hard the legs towards each other, one. Now try to pick your legs up off the ground. You'll, you will feel the outer hip engage strongly and you'll go a little lower. And then once you're there, hold your new position and squeeze again. Squeeze the thighs together. Five, inner thigh facing down to the floor. Four, try to wrinkle your mat between your legs. Three, two, one. Now push your legs out and stretch the, the mat apart. Stretch your mat apart. Stretch your mat apart. All right, that's enough there. We're gonna come around over this right leg into a half split. Left knee comes down to the ground. You can roll it right on over, no big deal. Here I'm gonna to try to find my left hip over my left knee for a moment. And you wanna pull your right hip back and up. So this right buttock back here, I'm gonna turn around so you have an easier time seeing it. Here, I'm gonna to try to pull this back while I reach through this heel. And then as I do that, this stays fixed in place. I'm gonna even strike it down into the floor. I'm gonna to try to pull my belly button rib cage more over my right leg. That's really the name of the game here. The, the leg has to stay strong, the pelvis has to move, and then the spine becomes a little bit more tractioning. Okay, got that? Now we know what it's like to flex the hip. Now let's see if we can work the hamstring a bit. Press down into the heel, pull your chest forward, and imagine that you're gonna pull your left knee and your right heel into each other. Can you squeeze them towards each other without moving? And now I want you to reach them away from each other. And you can pause here. Now listen, if this feels good, you don't have to have the hands on the ground. You can be holding a dowel, or be floating right here. We're gonna squeeze the right heel and the left knee closer together. You're gonna to feel a lot of work in the vector between the floor and the hip and the heel. That nice triangle that you can imagine there. Squeeze that triangle. And now try to smash the triangle. Stretch, stretch, stretch the knees away from each other. Okay, that's enough. Come around to your first side. Come around to that other side. I'm on my left hip now. I'm straddling that left leg. And I'm gonna to try to first find the flexion in the hip. So here, I wanna strike the left heel down and I'm gonna press my belly button towards the left knee while I pull the left hip bone back. I can still feel some roundness in my back, so I'm gonna to try to arch uh, my back a little more. But really, I say that um, what I'm identifying here is that I have moved into flexion in my hip uh, because I'm having trouble getting flexion in my lumbar spine, my lower back, I'm rounding it because I'm not getting it out of my uh, pelvis thigh. So I'm gonna try to pull in my mind the pelvis back while I lift the chest up to see if I can get it more into the hamstring hip and out of the lower back. I found that now and I feel good about it. So I'm gonna firm the abdomen, maybe firm your abdomen too, and try to drag your right heel and your left heel towards each other. Can you imagine? Don't let them go anywhere. Squeeze really hard. Five. Start ramping up your tension. Six. Seven. 
ramp it up. We're at an eight, nine, hold it here, hold it here. Now slide the knee and the thigh away from each other. Slide the knee away, find your balance. Make sure you're strong here. You can still keep the hands on the floor. We're gonna do that same squeeze again. Five, squeeze the thigh and the heel towards each other. Three, knee and the heel, two, one. Now reach them away from each other. All right, that's enough, shall we? Back to the middle and around again. All right, can we find ourselves in our cross arena set up position? Here we are. All right, yogis, we're all gonna try our, our compression drill now. Hands on the ground, shift your weight forward. Come to your tippiest of toe. Now, try to squeeze your thigh and your abdomen together. Pull the thigh and the stomach together while you press through your arms. Nice. Anyone want to try to uh, squeeze the thigh and the stomach closer together while reaching the legs wider apart? Maybe just one leg off the ground? Maybe both. Try your other leg. Put it down. All right, inhale, head up. Pause and exhale, hands on the waist. Inhale, come up. Let's go ahead and turn out over our right leg. Square off, lift the chest. Exhale, fold, bring your hands to the ground. Now here's your chance. Can you flex over this right hip? What do you have to do to let your hip flex? By that I mean, can you take this right hand? Or I'm gonna use my left hand here so you can see and bring the hand uh, to like the rib cage and the thigh right in between. But can you push your rib cage and thigh into each other while you get closer to your big toe? Can you feel that connection? And then can you pull the right hip back away from the right inner heel? And can you press a stamp through your right leg into the floor? Okay. You can release that hand, we'll come up and we'll get our other side. Straddling out over this left leg. Bring your left hand or right hand as you like to your rib cage, waistline, stomach. Can you get a connection between the thigh, the hand, and the waist? And then can you pull the left inner thigh back while you press through your left foot and smush your hand more? Can you get your rib cage further down your leg? Are you still stamping your feet into the floor, making a U imprint? U Y O U, not U, just the letter U. Okay, you can release the hand, find your balance. Now lift the right heel, shift your weight into this left leg. We're gonna head into warrior three and then Utita Asta from here. After Utita Asta, we're gonna go right into big toe pose, toe stand rather. So shift the weight into your left foot, pivot forward, warrior three, stand in your left leg. Squeeze your right glute. So really squeeze that butt. Um, hey, that teacup that's on the head, can you keep the teacup on the back of your head and your lower back and not spill a drop? Okay, let's spill everything, stand up. You know, my favorite thing to spill is the tea. We'll bring this right by up. Now, can, oh, hello. Speaking of, can we put our teacup on our knee? Look how nice and delicate. Oh, I love that for us. Without troubling the teacup, can we straighten the leg? You can use your own hand if you don't have a teacup handy. And we'll bend the knee. Good. And can we take the leg off to the side? You can straighten your leg here too if you'd like. And we'll bend the knee and bring it back to center. And then we're going to come to our half lotus, tree, toe stand, yogi's choice. Right leg can go into the left lap. You can fold or stand tall. Those who are working on their handstands are welcome to work their handstand skills here, working that compression. <laughs> so fun. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna have to call it there. So let's all inhale our head up, find our balance. Find your warrior three arms. Strong back, stand up. Extend your hip. Squeeze your butt. 
release your right leg. Send it back. Bring the hands down. Stand up, turn around. And we'll find our nice warrior three right here. I'm going to back up a little bit. I'm going to work the game. Okay, when you're ready, stand up nice and tall. Bring your left knee up. You're welcome to stay right here, but we're just trying to get that nice little teacup right on the top of our left knee. And straighten it out, try not to disturb your teacup. You can bend it and then take the thigh out to the side, keeping that teacup nicely balanced. And straighten the leg. Thank you. And bring the leg back to center. We'll put it into our half lotus shape. Or tree is great with the foot on the thigh. Or if you'd like to fold here in any way, shape, or form, you can do that, play a bit. What do you guys want today? It's your choice, okay? I don't mind. Um, I feel like I'm gonna try my handstand today. It's so tough. I suppose I have to call it. Let's find our balance while you're through these arms. Stand up, get that leg out, and send it back. Touch it down. And I feel good about that work. So noisy. Hey, I hope that the new mic is working okay for us. I hope it's not too, uh, too noisy. I'm trying it out, today's our first day. Uh, you'll have to tell me how it went. We're gonna head to Down Dog, you know the way, I'll see you there. Inhaling our up dog, exhaling our down dog. Coming into Paschimottanasana, stepping or jumping through, have a seat. Nice long legs. Okay. Here, we're gonna bring the hands into extension, behind, the shoulders a little bit into extension behind us by reaching the arms back. Plant down through your legs. See if you can squeeze your shoulder blades together here. Yeah, feeling pretty good. Pull your belly in. Uh-huh, and now take your hands off the ground. And now rotate your shoulders so that you feel the um, palms eventually rotating up and then internally rot rotate them, but try to retract them. Yeah? All right, now. Bend one elbow, just a nice elbow hinge. Straighten it out. Stay tall through your chest. Kind of bend the other elbow. Whew, bring it out. Now externally rotate, roll the shoulders out. Try to get your biceps to roll around. Reach the arms over your head. Is your core the same? Can you reach up a little higher? Strike down through your heels, roll the inner thighs in. Love that. And now, hey, can you rotate your forearm and your upper arm, and then pat yourself on one shoulder. Whew. Without leaning, reach it back up. Try your other one. Can you pat yourself on the shoulder? Okay, so now I have a bonus challenge for you. We're gonna try that again. Can you get it on the, its own shoulder? And its own shoulder. And then can you straighten your arms without touching? Whew. Bring them down. Big challenge. Now let's come forward and find our legs. We're gonna use that same skill set. First to like lift the chest up, pull the shoulders back and down a little bit, really depress them here, and then try to pull your, your shoulders into extension. So bend these elbows and pull your chest up like you did when you had your hands behind you. Yeah? And now from here, let's think about flexing our shoulders, using the shoulder strength to help us come forward and down. The arms are gonna start going over your head, right? And now let's try to extend a little bit. Bend the elbows, wrap them in, pull yourself forward. And then let's flex the shoulders to help us press into compression. We'll inhale the head up. And now feel free to catch or try whatever you'd like to try. 
for me, I'm gonna press my heels down into the floor. I'm gonna push my stomach away and hold on. And then from here, once I can't push away anymore, press down anymore, I'm gonna pull myself into these legs. Okay, inhale the head up, pause and exhale, enjoy. Take your hands behind you. Um, how do you want your hands today? Do you want them towards your butt or do you want them away? It's your choice. Inhale, extend through your shoulder joints. So squeeze your shoulders together, retract, hold that yellow pencil, and now try to push your upper body away from your arms. When you push your upper body away from your arms this way, this is shoulder extension, right? I still wanna retract, so I'm still squeezing together more while I do that. Hopefully I can move the shoulders more away from the ears over time for my neck get some more freedom. Come on down. That's how I'm working there. We can take our chaturanga up dog and down dog at our own pace. And from here, we'll have a seat. We'll play a little look, ma, no hands. From here, we're gonna pick up the right leg. We're gonna externally rotate the thigh. I mean, we're gonna roll the thigh out. We're gonna try to drop the knee down. The ankle comes towards the top of the left thigh or knee. We'll sit up nice and tall. And we're just gonna think about letting the right thigh come down towards the floor. You might even shift the weight over there a little bit. Yeah, find your chest lifted. I've come into a combat stance in my arms to help lift my chest up, squeezing the shoulders back, press the heart forward. Now stretch the arms out, catch your leg. Mm -hmm. And then same options. You can try to extend the shoulders a bit to help extend the spine a bit. And then maybe you wanna flex the shoulders to compress the, the front of the spine a bit. Try to get your belly button to look at the left knee and try to pull the left hip back. Feel the left inner thigh deepening. Inhale, lift the head up, pause and exhale. Let go of the leg, come back into your combat stance arms with a minimal amount of listing to the left. We're gonna take this right ankle off of the leg and hover. And now we're gonna internally rotate this right hip. So we're gonna roll the right inner thigh down and try to pick that right heel up out of the side, minimal amount of leaning to the left. We're gonna draw it all the way around, coming into a hurdler stretch or a triang muka, whatever you prefer. So that hip can be way back and you can press the inner thigh down here or you can keep it nice and close and still try to press that inner thigh down. Lots of options for you. Now let's bring our hands over this left leg. We're gonna press down into this left heel. As you press down into this left heel, I want you to try to pull your left inner groin back. So that piece of like yellow tape on the inner thigh, pull it back. That piece of green tape on the inner ankle, reach it away. Try to really tug on those tape points. Now play around with your shoulders. Will shoulder extension and depression here help? Pull a little more forward, maybe. And then maybe you can fold down into that leg. Let's try that, it, let's try that systematically now. We'll pales and rails it. Press down into your left heel. Press down into the floor as much as you need to. Push your belly away from the thigh, but don't move. Try to resist pressing down. Squeezing. Two. One, now pull the front stomach and the front thigh together. Pull yourself in. Pull yourself into the hip. Pull back through the left inner groin. Pull that yellow tape back, reach away with the green tape. And we'll inhale the head up. And we'll pause. Now we've got our leg lifts. We're gonna bring the hand to straddle this left leg. If you've got yourself out, you can still do it here too. Don't worry, no problem. So right here, we're gonna do five leg lifts and then we're gonna do five axials. I'll show you. One, doesn't matter how high you go. So I'm gonna scooch more forward because that was way too high. Two, ah, that's challenging. Three, four, five. Now catch the topmost point. And I want you to inch, externally rotate your thigh and then try to internally rotate the thigh. Externally rotate the thigh. 
internally rotate the thigh. You can walk these hands back if it's too much. Externally rotate the thigh, that rolls that inner thigh up. Roll the inner thigh down. We have one more. Roll the inner thigh out. Roll the inner thigh down. Keep the leg up, plant the hands. Can we jump into our push up without touching this left leg to the floor? Up dog and down dog. All righty, Ruth, good for me and you. We're gonna come through, bending the left knee, or uh, the right, the left ankle on top of the right knee. So here, we've got a slightly abducted position with that left thigh out, no problem. Here, we're externally rotating the hip where we feel the left heel lifting up off of the right thigh as the left knee drops down due to the rotation there. We may, we may not quite get that, but we can try. I'm gonna set my arms up to irradiate more, creating more tension in the body, I'm trying to get my pelvis into a, what feels like a more neutral position. You can always elevate your hips to help with that if this feels uncomfortable. Remember that. Once you feel like you've gotten that proud chest up and you're balancing that teacup so nicely, from here we can come forward and we can work the hip by pulling the right hip back, really feeling better yet, the little bit of green or yellow tape on the inner right thigh, pull it back. Reach away through the right inner heel, lengthen the inseam of that right leg, pull the right hip back as you come over the right knee. Feeling that, keep letting the left heel lift up as the left hip drops down. The, the weight can shift into the left knee here Pulling the right thigh back, inhale your head up. Pause and exhale. So we're gonna head into our Triang Mukha Yekapada Paschimottanasana or our hurdler, half 90, whatever you wanna call it. Bring that leg up, internally rooted it. Roll the inner thigh down, sneak it around, point the foot, shift it on over. Here we are. Press. Now we're gonna to try to pull this right inner groin back. Back, 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 back. So tough, I know. And we can straddle out over this right leg. It's not a big deal. We're gonna do our pails and rails here. So here, let's see if we can press down through the right leg. Really press down into your right thigh, feeling the meat of your right thigh glue to the floor. Like there's some Gorilla Glue down there and you are stuck. Beast. Now, pull the right inner thigh back, reach through the inner heel, and pull the chest up. Now, I want you to try to resist the leg down into the floor. So like, if I were like super mighty, mighty, I would push so much into that right thigh that this area would all stretch and I would start to lean back. But that's not happening. I'm not letting that happen. I'm containing the tissue right here. I'm irradiating. I'm making myself so strong that even though I'm pushing through this right leg to make that happen, it ain't never gonna happen because I ain't never gonna let it happen. You too. Now, after you've resisted this hard, you're gonna pull your belly button towards the right knee and you're gonna try to pull that right thigh up into your stomach, but the thigh doesn't come up off the ground. So what happens? We pull forward. That inner right thigh keeps pulling back. No compensations. Don't lose that inner right thigh pulling back. Inner right heel working. We're gonna press again here. Five, four, Three, press through the floor. Two, one, now pull yourself in. Inner thigh back, pull yourself in. Whew. Okay, we're gonna climb up to a manageable position now that we've created some new ranges of motions for ourselves with our progressive and regressive versions. Straddle this right leg. Let's get our proud chest up and we're gonna do five leg lifts right here. One, two, no spinal compensations. Three, that looks great, guys. Four, hold the upswing, ready? Externally rotate, internally rotate. One, externally rotate, turn the key. Internally rotate, turn the key. Three more, one, one, two, two. Ooh, that internal's tough. Three, hold the internal, pull the hip back, pull the hip back, sit tall, float the leg, ready? Jump back. Chaturanga. <laughs> Up dog and down dog. What a nice choose your own adventure. 
Let's come on through and have a seat on the ground together. Okay, we're gonna take these legs out in front of us and we're gonna bring the hands around the underside of the leg. And we're gonna catch onto our own heels here with our hands. You can always use a strap on each foot if this is a little bit too much going under the leg. Now, I want you to think about pulling the knees and your armpits into each other. Can you pull the knees back like they're gonna squeeze into the back of the armpit? You're like, hell no, Michael, what are you talking about? You can try the hands around the outside and see if that helps a little bit. And as you do this, I want you to find that proud chest even here. Uh-huh. Yeah, can you pull yourself deeper between your legs and lift the chest up? What happens if you rotate out? Does that feel good? What happens if you rotate in? Keep the bend in the knee and don't let your heels slide. Roll them in. Does that feel good? Woo, tough. Roll them out. Woo. Roll them in. Squeeze. Now hold here. Pull your knees back into the armpits more. Try to flex the hips. Come a little bit more forward. All right, we're gonna do uh, two more axials. Abduct and externally rotate. Adduct and internally rotate. So squeeze in and roll the inner thighs down. Squeeze out and roll the thighs out. Last one. Squeeze in and roll the inner thighs and pull the chest forward. Good, and now yogis. From here, if you'd like to go one step further, slide those arms behind you and straighten the legs. Pressing down into the thigh, trying to get your heels to press down into the ground, and then being so strong that they can just float off the ground. Everything. All right, come on out of that, my friends. It's really nice work. We're going to come up into a squat here. All right, take the arms behind you. Internally rotate your shoulders, retract them. So take those thumbs, turn them all the way around and up. Good, now externally rotate them, roll them all the way around. Draw a big circle, bring them up over your head. Try turn the thumbs out even more. Flex those shoulders even more. Get that proud chest. Pull yourself deeper into your squat. Can you pull your knees and your armpits closer together? Can you pull your hips and heels closer together? Can you put your knees more forward? Maybe turn the shins in a little bit. Whew. Okay, bring those hands down. Bring them under you. Make a little shelf. Find the shoulders coming into extension. That means that the elbows are trying to reach behind you more and more. The legs are there, so they can't. So you might just stay here, or maybe you want to pick one leg up. If it feels impossible, play with the axial on the leg. Do you want to roll it in or out? Try not to kick your house plants. When you're done here, guys, take it around into crow if you'd like. You'll shift the weight back. You can bend those elbows. Once again, try to find the shoulders coming into depression and extension here, squeezing the elbows into the knees, flexing the hips, pulling the thighs closer to the stomach. You should get a good cramp there. Be careful if you've had cramps there that weren't pleasant before. You know who you are in Chaturanga. Up dog and down dog at your own pace. Wonderful. Guys, let's come into a squat at the top of our mat. We're gonna come on down, feet and knees together this time. And now we're gonna to try to pull ourselves down into our squat. What do I mean by that? So imagine here that between the top of the foot and the shin, you could squeeze the tissue. Like bring them closer together. And now the heel and the buttock can you squeeze these closer together? Yeah, and then can you shift the weight back slightly, getting the heels a little lower? Do you feel how that's working the ankles more and more? Try to press into your toes now. Try to push through the floor with your toes. Don't let them go anywhere. Try to just push. So we're pails and railsing our ankle now. We're pushing the toes into the floor. No one's going anywhere, three. We're pushing the whole sole of the foot too. And now we're gonna pull ourselves in deeper, 
pull ourselves in, pull ourselves in and see if you can sit the weight back just a little bit. You can walk the hands back and you get your heels down. Send the weight forward again. Now we're gonna twist to our right hand side. Let's bring our left shoulder over our right leg. Uh-huh, and if you can, can you take this left hand and catch your own foot? And now can you pull your knee and your uppermost rib cage into each other while you twist? Can you bring your right arm out over your ear? What does this remind you of? Can you get your heels all the way down? And then can you pull yourself deeper into the posture? Okay. Would you like to try an arm balance here? When you've had all the fun you can have, stand up if you want or don't. Come around to the other side. It's okay to take a second and then come back down. If you stand up, let yourself pull yourself back down. So when you bend these knees forward, the shin and the upper foot pull you deeper the hip and the heel pull you deeper, the abs and the thighs pull you deeper. Uh-huh, we'll switch and twist to the other side. Take this right arm over the left leg, catch the heel and pull. I'm trying to pull this leftmost knee into my right ribcage, chest, uppermost. Squeezing the thighs together, trying to find the twist through the ribcage and then reach that left arm out over the ear. I might even try to get the left heel all the way down and then pull deeper into the foot. Come back around. When you're ready, take an arm balance if you'd like. and enjoy an up dog and a down dog. Coming into high plank, coming down to our tummies. All right. So we're gonna do the same shoulder work that we've done with bending the elbows today. Um, it'll look like maybe cow face at a certain point, which means that when we do this, we're gonna keep our, you can watch the window or join me if you know it. We'll start with our head down and our arms either on our lower back or on the ground. We'll extend our shoulders. We'll externally rotate the shoulders, rolling the thumbs up. We'll draw a big circle, trying not to use our uh, spine at all for this. And then we'll bend an elbow and another. And we'll send an arm around and back. We'll bend an elbow. Want to try that? Arms behind. Head down. So let's start by taking the tailbone and posteriorly tilting it away from us, moving the, filling up the lower back, trying to press our bottom most butt into the floor. Pull your belly in. And now retract your shoulder blades, squeeze them together and then hover them off the ground, the arms that is. The palms are up facing the ceiling now. And now you wanna rotate your thumbs down and out, feeling the upper arm bone move. And then we'll reach the arms both over our head and we'll bend the left elbow and straighten it out. We'll bend the right elbow and leave it there, keep the elbow up, draw a big circle with that left arm Roll the thumb back and around, internally rotate it, that is to say, and then start to work the shoulder more into extension and retraction, bringing it behind you, bend your elbow. Can you touch your hands? Extend your left elbow, draw a nice big circle, bring it around, bend the left elbow, extend the right elbow, reach it out, good. Internally rotate your right shoulder, roll that thumb down and back, then start to rotate the arm around and back. Keep hovering that left arm off your shoulder, bend the right elbow, can you touch? Squeeze that right elbow, extend the elbow, 
externally rotate the thumb, reach it back around, bring it back. Bend your right elbow. Oh, and relax your shoulders. Woo! Okay. All right, from here, let's lift everything up off the ground. Pull the belly in, pull the tailbone away. Now we can introduce the spine. Lift those legs up, lift the chest up. Let's stretch off the arms. Can we lift a little higher, bring the arms around? Can we reach the legs back a little more? Can we reach the arms a little higher? Now, can we stretch our chest wide? Come on down. Bend your knees. Find your feet. Hold on tight. How do you want to move your shoulders? I'm going to squeeze mine together and down and kick my legs into the hands. Don your ass in a bow pose. Kick your feet into your hands. Can you pull your stomach off of the ground? And then kick your legs more. Can you think about lifting your knees up while you push your buttocks into the floor? Can you lift a little higher? Can you squeeze your shoulders anymore? Okay, come on down. Up dog and down dog. Lunging your right leg forward between the hands, coming down into your left knee, flipping the top of the left foot over, flexing the right hip. Inhale, both of your arms up. Exhale, stretch back. Switch your legs. So here guys, you're gonna to try to sit down on your left heel once you can feel how the left foot pushes into the floor. To go deeper into the back bend, counterintuitive though it might be, you'll flex the left hip more so that you can extend the right hip more. Let's try it. Sit on down, bring both of your arms up. Squeeze your heel and your buttock closer together. Your left thigh and left wrist closer together. And peel one disc back at a time. Come on up. And do this. All right, take a vinyasa, up dog and down dog. We'll try one, we'll try both at the same time. Coming to our shins. It's our favorite backward bend. From Ustrasana. Camel pose. You're welcome to take camel. You're welcome to take kapo. Um, we're gonna do it twice from this setup. Enjoy. So from here, you can place the hands on your buttocks if you'd like. Squeeze the elbows in, try to extend the chat, the shoulders so that you're moving your chest away from your upper arm bones. That's going to lift it high into the air. And then you just let the get to like gravity pump take you back. But then pull yourself deeper into your back bend by contracting your spine muscles. And move the shoulders away from the ears and squeeze them together. And move your chest up away from your arms. And up we have as you like. Take a breath, have a seat if you'd like. Round two. You have each choice. What would you like to do? You can take a logger today where you keep your hands on your thighs and go back towards the top of your head, just enjoying something a little gentle. It would look like this. Ish. Stopping whenever you'd like. Or you're welcome to work on your capo. Taking your arms up over your head, flexing your shoulders, lifting the chest up, reaching the arms back, letting your head go back.
And from here, welcome to take a child's pose. Welcome to take a rabbit as you like. Got it, we hold the heels and lift the hips, squeezing the front line of the body so hard. Coming up with an inhale. Backs out. Chaturanga, up dog and down dog at your own pace. We'll finish here coming through and laying down on our backs, giving ourselves a big bear hug. Taking your knees over to the right, being gentle. Bringing yourself up to center, going to the other side. So we'll gently have a seated forward fold. It's our last pose before rest. Enjoy. and we'll lay down. Friends, I know your time is valuable and I've used up oh, as much as I know that I can. Thank you for sharing some of your day with me. Thank you, thank you for sharing your practice. Allow yourself to relax into the earth. Let yourself be happy. When it is time to go, exit peacefully. Take a little bit of this peace with you so that you can share a little bit of peace with other folks too. Namaste.